I really like low slung fast sedans but there's no two ways about it the norm in the market is crossover SUVs or compact SUVs and well I'm not a big fan of the Koreans nor do I like all of the Indian products that are there in the market although I am a big Euro fanboy heck I even own a Skoda Kushak but Euro doesn't only mean Czech Republic or German it actually also means French This over here is the Citroen C3 Aircross. This is the latest variant that they've come out with. This has a 6-speed torque converter automatic, which was previously not available. So today I'm here to see what this thing can do and if this should be your next compact SUV. Now this being the drivers hub the thing that we're most interested in is what powers the C3 Aircross well let's check it out This over here is called Citroen's PureTech 110 engine and as the name suggests this thing is capable of making 110 bhp and this being a uh, the automatic variant it actually makes a little bit more of torque this is a 1.2 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine and like i said 110 bhp if you get the manual it makes 190 newton meters of torque and this being the automatic it gets 205 newton meters of torque 15 nm extra and i have to say it's a pretty peppy engine and paired with the six speed automatic it's pretty pretty smooth now this thing has a claimed fuel economy of 18 kmpl which has been done by ARA and it probably might be doing it but that's not what we're going to be doing today i want to see how this thing performs because it is a pretty lively engine i drive a 1 liter tsi uh, on a regular basis and it kind of feels as fast as a 1 liter tsi in its stock guys of course it has 200 cc extra of displacement but uh, i'm very excited to see what this engine does at the limit so let's close the bonnet and quickly talk about how it looks now i have to say i'm a big fan of how the c3 aircross looks it looks like a shrunken down c5 aircross and i really like the funky design language that citroen has i mean just the way the car looks and even if you see the uh, european models that citroen sells uh, they look really really out there and they look very distinct uh, you can clearly see that this is a citroen and not any other random car on the road uh, and that's exactly why i like their design language it's super unique super distinct and you can make it from a mile away that what is coming down the road is a citroen and Uh, the key design elements for that are the split uh, headlights and DRLs i mean this is a very classic citroen thing the thing on top is the DRL and you of course have the headlamp below you have this uh, grill section over here which is split into two uh, which looks really cool you have the citroen logo this particular car is finished in this lovely silver color come down to the side you have four lug nutted wheels and uh, even the design is like a, a four part design which looks really cool in my opinion this of course being a compact suv crossover thingy you of course have to have your body cladding on the side which actually gives it quite a rugged look and come down to the side the body cladding continues and you have some extra cladding over here on the door as well you also have a roof rack but i don't think that is functional because it's completely made out of plastic nor does it have any uh, holes or anything in it to tie something down uh and if you come over here to the rear uh, you have this really cool looking tail light design it's a pretty normal back end i have to say you have more body cladding over here some pure tech and c3 aircross badges but overall i think it's a very good looking car i'm not a big fan of how the creta looks or how the seltos sonnet whatever the competitors are for this car but i have to say the c3 aircross looks really distinct really cool and yeah i think so it's one of the better looking cars in its segment of the C3 Aircross and I have to say I'm a fan. 
uh, I don't like a uh, interior which is very flashy or very out there it has a lot of unnecessary gimmicks and features and this is a very simple minimalistic interior which is very functional and very easy to use in that sense uh, so you have this really nice looking steering wheel which is wrapped in this leatherette uh, which looks really nice it's a flat bottom you have all of your media controls and cl uh, controls for your instrument cluster over here very easy to use simple buttons you don't have to figure it out or anything uh, in front of me is a digital dashboard uh, which has your tachometer your speed driving data and all of that stuff it has a couple of menus and couple of settings here and there which you can change in order to know more about the car and the journey that you're doing and you have this screen over here in the middle which is your infotainment screen uh, it has apple carplay it has android auto very easy to use it has big icons so even when you're driving you can just like take your eyes off the road for just a second and just select what you want uh, pretty easy to use it has wireless apple carplay and android auto which is very convenient as well uh, but there are a couple of things that annoy me a little for example uh, if you're a passenger and if you want to change the volume you have to basically use the screen although i have a button over here for volume as well uh, but the good thing is that Citroen didn't go down the route of putting some haptic feedback or touchscreen buttons here and there for the AC control which is super simple. You have three knobs, one for your temperature, one for your fan speed and one for you know where the air is coming out of. The dashboard looks really cool. Again you have the Citroen elements over here in the air vents uh, and I have to say really cool looking and you have this very distinct and unique finish on the dashboard which is finished in like this dark green browny color which again looks very uh, purposeful in my opinion the c3 aircross can be configured in a couple of different ways of course you have the manual or the auto option but the main thing is the seating options so this is a five seater car you can also opt for a five plus two seater car so the rear boot space basically gets deleted and you can get two extra seats over there uh, which again very convenient if you are someone who's looking for a seven seater car in a budget that's also pretty good to drive and has a good interior i would definitely recommend the c3 aircross for that because well the renault driver even though it's like kind of like a sister car to this in some sort of a way uh yeah it leaves a lot to be desired whereas this a really nicely finished interior with leatherette everywhere uh very funky looking stuff inside and i'm a big fan of it in my own way so how about we shut the doors and take it out for a quick hey, space So the thing that Citroen is most famous for is the ride quality and I have to say this is an amazing car when it comes to ride quality. The way it just glides over the road is unlike any other car in its segment. Super smooth and you know you can just go over bumps, potholes, bad roads, anything like that without any sort of hesitation and that is the best part about the Citroen driving experience. Now coming to this all new 6 speed uh, torque converter automatic gearbox, well of course not the fastest gearbox in the world but I do prefer a torque converter over like an AMT or a CVT because well it just feels a little bit more natural. Uh, the shifts might not be as crisp as a DCT but it's uh, more friendly when it comes to city driving because DCTs have a habit of overheating in like tight traffic conditions you know something or the other always conks off on a dct i mean i should know that first hand experience because well i have a car which has a dq200 gearbox but regardless a torque converter is much more reliable it's almost as smooth as a dct and you know it won't overheat on you in tight traffic conditions so this particular uh, automatic gearbox that the c3 aircross now gets well it's pretty smooth uh, you don't feel the gear shifts at all putting it in manual is of no use because it's just not that responsive nor does the c3 aircross have any paddles on the steering to make it a little bit more of a fun driving experience but this car isn't meant to be an enthusiast's uh, compact suv crossover it's meant to be a practical daily driver which the family can enjoy on the weekends as well and i think so it completes that purpose 
with flying marks because it has loads of space it has comfortable suspension which the family will enjoy and it also has a lot of geeky tech things that you know make it a better driving experience like the digital dash in front of me this big wide screen over here and apart from that it has no gimmicks or anything of that sort it's just a car and that's what i like about it the most you know they're not trying to take on any of the koreans or something with like gimmicky features like aqi 360 degree cameras and all of that stuff coming to the camera well the reversing camera is well pretty disappointing it's not hd resolution at all uh, and i much prefer to use the mirrors in this car uh, but it being a long car probably citroen should upgrade the camera because well yeah it's a little little bad in that sense but apart from that driving wise well pretty good even when you stamp on it it picks up and just goes and this 1.2 liter three cylinder turbo engine well it has quite a lot of legs we just went into triple digit speeds in a fairly quick time for a car like this which is not bad at all when it comes to power well it's a pretty torquey engine all of its torque is down low in the rev range which makes it very easy for you to do quick overtakes or you know drive it in the city and that's what it's basically tuned for once you get into the top end well it loses its breath quite quickly but uh, again not complaining about it this is not a sports car overall i have to say i'm a fan of the c3 aircross and now since it's got this much needed six speed automatic transmission well i think so it's going to appeal to a lot of new buyers and i think you should uh, definitely consider it before you're buying something like a sonnet or a kushak or a tigoon because it's definitely a much more roomier car and considering that you can spec it with seven seats as well uh, you can basically take your whole joint family and go for an amazing road trip some things that are left to be desired i think it should have come with a sunroof but again in such a tight budget and such a cutthroat competition i think it's a lot of demand for not a lot of money so i think this is a fantastic car especially with its suspension it's so plush so comfortable uh the engine is pretty peppy the gearbox is decently smooth overall it's a very good good package and i highly recommend that you check out the c3 aircross before you pick up your next compact suv so thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to our channel comment down below what you think of the c3 aircross and i hope that a lot of people start modifying the c3 aircross because it has a pretty good 1.2 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine so let's see if some sort of modding scene happens with this car thank you so much for watching uh, follow us on instagram and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye